Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the seventh in a series of video tutorials on how to create a visual city in Unity 5. So in this episode we're going to be focusing on a lot more of the kind of little bits of the city. And the first thing we want to do is over here, by this building, I've noticed that's gone a bit funny here. So I'm going to do something just delete. So I'm just going to quickly reposition these um, parts of the sidewalk just here. And I'm going to create a few more along because we will be expanding down here a bit more. So let's do one last one. Let's do that to about there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import uh, a few textures. Um, I'm just going to call this um, right click folder. I'm just going to call this folder uh, city um, extra. So in this folder, I'm going to import um, a couple of these um, parts right here. So I'm going to import something called barrel two brick walls, dirt text, and fence. And I'm going to bring them into Unity. As always, you can get these uh, textures on our website. The uh, link is in the description for the video. So I'll just give it a second just to import. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create kind of like an alleyway just behind this building here. So I'm going to take this building uh, I'll tell you what, no, I'm going to take this building here and duplicate this one and bring it over here. Let's close the sidewalk and I'm going to delete that layer. And I'm simply going to drag and drop this brick wall straight onto it like that. But now it's not really a shop any, anymore, is it? So I'm going to right click, rename, and just call this wall 001. And I'm going to uncouple it from the shops. We'll find a new home for that soon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the alleyway. So I'm going to take this dirt texture and create down here a little alley. So I'm going to take this particular sidewalk, duplicate, move it outwards, and I'm going to uncouple it. So I'm going to put it in the main hierarchy and then close our sidewalk. So right click, uh, rename, and we'll call this Alley 001. And I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees. Let's quickly check on the snap settings, and let's reduce them to 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. And I'm just going to bring it down to about there should do and out slightly to about there and now I'm going to drag and drop this dirt texture straight on let's zoom in a touch just move it along so we can see okay so we need to bring it up very slightly so bring it to about there forward a bit and what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let's see if we go in here, go on debug. Yes, that's fine. Sorry, it's just quickly checking something. Okay, so this particular um, alley piece now, uh, I'm going to duplicate again and just pull it up to about there. Do it cross this way and then once more that way. Now this wall I'm going to duplicate. So control D and I'm going to put it about there. And then again bring it this way, about there, and once more. So it looks very untidy, but to the actual player it won't look so untidy. So let's take this, control D to duplicate, and let's bring it to about there. 
and I'm going to put this second brick wall onto this one. Okay, so I think we could do with um, let's quickly change our snap settings again. Let's change it back to one, and let's position this slightly better. So let's put that about there. And I think we could possibly do with lowering the uh, alley texture. Sorry, object, I should say, shouldn't I? So we'll just lower it just above the sidewalk, about there. Okay, so it's a nice simple alley, but we don't want the player to go down there. So we need to put in a fence. So the best thing to do for that is if we get it in position, and that's game object, 3D object, and cube. Now let's put the cube about there, and let's change the scale. So across we'll have it as, let's see, what's a good number? Three, nope, it needs to be bigger, 4.5 is that too small still slightly too small so we'll have that as 4.7 I think that should do just fine yeah that'll do so just get it so as it's uh, against each wall there and the height on the Y let's have what is the height of these so they're five so we'll have this as five as well Let's bring it into position about there. And then Z or Z, I'm going to set a zero. So it currently looks like a big black blob. Bring this forward. And now let's apply this fence texture straight to it. That might need to have that as 0 0.01. That's better. And let's see if go down here to your shader. Go to particles and go to additive. Oh, that's not quite worked. Is that the right one? Um, oh, sorry, not additive. It should be multiply. My apologies. It should actually be multiply. And then it creates the kind of fence there. And because you've got the box collider, it means that the player can't go down there. I'm looking material. Oh, not material. Sorry. It should actually be in City Extra, shouldn't it? Materials. And you can see there, that's how it is there. So I'm going to set the tiling on this as well. Two and two. So it looks a bit more like a, fe uh, a better fence rather than a big, massive single fence. And you can change it to three if you want it, just to give it a bit more of a mesh effect. So I'm just going to keep it as two. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, let's create a kind of a, a hobo fire. We're going to use this barrel texture. So game object, 3D object, and a cylinder. I'm just going to pull this out here for now and bring it there, I think. And let's change the scale slightly. So the Y scale is fine at 1, so let's change this to 2 and two and then drag and drop your barrel texture straight on so I think we do a decrease in that so let's put 1.5 by 1 by 1.5 okay that looks fine so we have a barrel so firstly this cube that we had as the fence let's quickly rename this as mesh fence 001 and let's rename uh, this one as barrel 001. So the next thing we'll do is we'll put kind of a, a fence, um, not a fence, sorry, a, a fire on there. Um, so this hobo fire, drag and drop into Unity. And on top of this, we want to create the fire effect. And we can do that using a particle system. So go to game object and particle system. Drag and drop that onto your barrel. And then just zero out the axes. And then we'll right click, rename, and just call this fire 001. 
So now we're going to play around with some settings to make this look more like a fire. So to do that, we're going to have the color just here, and we'll change it to a nice kind of orange, dark orangey red kind of color. That'll do about there. Uh, other settings here. Oops. We need start speed. Let's put that as one. And start rotation. Let's put that as sixty. That's all we really need on this section just here. So emission. Don't need to touch that. That's fine. Shape. We will change. So. Keep shape as cone, you can have it as different ones if you want to, it depends what type of fire you want. But I'm going to stick with cone, it's easiest and makes it look more like a fire. And then go to angle and change it to zero. So as it makes the flame effect come upwards. Radius, uh, 0 0.5, so we want to make it a bit shorter. And we want to emit from base, which is fine. Uh, let's see, we don't really need any of these too much. Size over lifetime, we'll take this one. And you'll notice here you have a red line all the way across. This means that it's quite tall. And you can end it earlier by if you click this little red dot here and bring it down, you'll notice on the game screen it changes how the fire looks. So I'm going to put that to about there. So what we could do with now is pulling up our particle system so as it sits on the top of our barrel. Like that. So oops, sorry, we do need that one, my apologies. And then if we take rotation over lifetime, let's change this to zero. Just to see how it goes. Uh, we'll leave everything else for now. So then let's drag and drop this onto our fire. And you'll notice, yeah, it doesn't look so good. However, if we go down to here, go to particles, and go to additive, and it starts looking more like a fire. So let's just position this so as it kind of sits on top of our barrel a bit better. So now we have the effect of kind of like a, a hobo fire. So we'll put this over here. So now if we press play, we can kind of walk all the way over here to where we've started building. And as we get closer, you can slowly see our fence appearing. And there's our alleyway with our hobo fire. As you can see, if you look down the alley, you can't actually see the mess that is behind it all. It just looks like an alley. And you can't actually get through the fence, as I say, but you can see through it. Okay, so the, the last thing we'll do is we'll quickly put in um, a few little extras. So uh, if we go to the textures folder again, and let's go to doors. And I'll uh, just import this little graffiti door into Unity. And uh, let's create a graffiti door just on this wall here. So, game object, nice and simple, cube, put it where we want it. Right there, let's change the size. Scale on the X, let's put that as 2. Y, let's put as, no, we'll have that as 4, I think. And the Z, or Z will keep as one. Let's just drag and drop the door. So now we have the kind of graffiti door effect just on this wall. It's not too bad. So that'll do there. And we also have, if you noticed, in the textures folder, a closed shop. So we'll go into shop face textures and we'll just drag and drop this empty shop texture into Unity. And I'm just going to uh, right click, rename, and call this G door 001, so graffiti door. And I'm actually going to couple it with this wall 001. Straight there. So let's close that. Let's close that in hierarchy for the barrel. 
and let's put this empty shop somewhere. So I'm going to take this shop again, and I'm going to duplicate, pull it along. Let's have a quick look. So we need to shift that into position to about there. I'm going to delete the top and let's just drag and drop this empty shop texture straight on. Let's sort our sidewalk out so it goes a little bit further. About there. I think we need more asphalt down here as our road has kind of disappeared. So let's ensure that goes all the way to there. Okay, so we'll leave that tutorial there for now. As you can see, our city is slowly forming with a few different effects. It looks a little bit more like a city than it did a couple of tutorials ago. So next episode, I think we're really going to kind of build all the shops. I'm going to give you loads of textures to play with, new things to play with, and just build it, really. So next tutorial is going to be a little bit shorter, I would say, because there's not a lot I can really show you. Um, it's just a case of building up now, but there are a few more different things that we'll play with. So, as I say, we'll uh, leave that tutorial there for now, and uh, I do hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.